Hey, welcome to Nourishable Raw, an authentic conversation about nutrition with me, Dr. Lara. And I had a viewer question about apple cider vinegar and whether there's any evidence to back up the claims. The internet tells us that apple cider vinegar can help you lose weight, reduce belly fat, and lower blood sugar. So let's science it. Apple cider vinegar, or ACV as it is lovingly abbreviated, is made by mixing apple cider with yeast. The yeast will ferment the sugar and convert it to alcohol. Then bacteria will break down this alcohol and convert it to acetic acid, which gives the vinegar that distinctive sour flavor. First, let's look at the weight loss claims. And I'm only gonna focus on human studies here. One study had healthy overweight participants drink either an apple cider vinegar spiked beverage or placebo every day for three months. Those drinking the ACV lost weight, decreased their waist circumference, and reduced body fat, especially that pesky deep belly fat. So this sounds pretty compelling for apple cider vinegar. But this was just one study, so we'd want to see whether these results can be replicated in other studies before we can really trust them. Also, this study was in Japanese men, so we want to know whether these results are consistent across other populations. And that's the thing, they haven't been replicated in other human studies. Some theories suggest that apple cider vinegar can enhance satiety, or that feeling of fullness after finishing a meal, and therefore reduce how much you eat during the rest of the day. One study did find that ACV enhanced satiety, but this was due to nausea. And I don't think that using nausea as a way to reduce food consumption is really a fun way to live. So overall, there's lots of anecdote, but very little scientific evidence for the apple cider vinegar and weight loss claims. There's more research exploring whether vinegar can lower blood sugar and help manage diabetes, though not all with apple cider vinegar specifically. A bunch of studies looked at whether feeding vinegar with a meal could help prevent those super high spikes in blood glucose. Overall, the results were pretty mixed. Sometimes eating vinegar with a meal would reduce blood sugar compared to placebo, and other times there was no difference. The results were inconsistent in both healthy people and in subjects with impaired glucose tolerance, like type 2 diabetes. And drinking vinegar for a longer period of time didn't seem to matter either. A three-month-long study supplementing with vinegar didn't show any changes in hemoglobin A1c, which is used as an indicator of long-term blood glucose management. So despite the anecdotal evidence, there doesn't seem to be consistent game-changing science for apple cider vinegar on blood glucose control. Other ways to prevent those super high spikes in blood glucose are to shift away from the refined carbs like added sugars and white breads and shift towards complex carbs in high fiber foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, plus regular physical activity to promote insulin sensitivity. Okay, so maybe apple cider vinegar isn't all that effective, but is it harmful? Generally, it seems to be safe when consumed at reasonable amounts in food or diluted into water, maximum two tablespoons per day. You definitely don't want to drink it straight because it's so acidic that it can erode your tooth enamel and burn your esophagus. And there's some reports that it can interfere with potassium balance and interact with drugs. So talk to your personal physician before you start adding a bunch of ACV into your diet. So what do we do with this information? If you like the flavor of ACV, go ahead and use it in cooking. Personally, I keep some in my pantry because I like to drizzle it on steamed spinach or use it in salad dressings. There isn't much scientific backing for apple cider vinegar on weight loss or blood glucose management, but if the flavor helps you shift towards eating more fruits and vegetables, then it could be beneficial for health. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable Raw. If you have a question you'd like me to do an episode on, leave it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition.